Hello everybody, I'm back today with a different sort of video because I'm taking part in a collaboration which has been uh, organised by Julia McNeil in aid of the Marie Curie Foundation. Uh, during the whole month of March, the Marie Curie Foundation have, have launched their Daffodil Appeal and probably many of you are aware of that. And this is our way of collaborating. So each one of us who are in the collaboration will be uploading a daffodil or yellow themed card on the next four Saturdays. And um, Julia has, has created some daffodil themed digi images, which if you wish to purchase, you just email her. Um, one image is two pounds and then the whole set is five pounds. She's also um, has opened a Just Giving fundraising uh, site so that um, if you wish to, to donate to the Marie Curie Foundation, um, that would be very welcome. As you know, the Marie Curie Foundation helps cancer patients and, and, um, their rel and people with, rel with terminal illness by providing emotional and practical support to people who, who find themselves in difficult circumstances. They do a very good work and um, this is our way of collaborating with them. I will put all of this information in the description box below together with the emails, sorry, the YouTube channels of all those who are also collaborating. So pop along to all of them as well and have a look at what they have been creating. There is a, a giveaway as well attached to this collaboration and for that you need to visit all the um, collaborators, subscribe to their channel, like the video and leave a comment in, in their, on their videos. Uh, all, all of that can be found on Julia's channel. So, without further ado, I'll get going with my card. So. A good friend of mine very kindly painted me some images of daffodils and so I decided to use those as the basis for my cards uh, over the next four weeks. So the first card that I've got is this beautiful image of a daffodil and I thought it would look nice on a long card so I found this um, card mount which has scalloped edges to make it a bit special and I've, I'm going to mat and layer it on yellow and green paper. So the yellow paper is this one with lovely bubbles on it, white bubbles, but I'm not going to mat and layer it as one normally does, you know, sort of one and then another one on top and another one on top. I thought it would look nice to stagger them and so this is what I thought I might do, just to do this and then the third one here so that there's kind of a, a, a cascade and then to put a sentiment here. So that's what I'm going to do. I've already prepared these papers with sticky tape on the back just to make it a bit shorter and um, with my poker tool I'm going to start obviously with the, the biggest one first. Let me get this off. So I'm going to line that up here, try and get it more or less in the middle. And then I'll stick the green one down. I don't know if you know this trick, but if you're you are doing using double-sided sellotape and you want to place something on your project, if you go halfway in opposite directions like I've done, it doesn't stick to your project until you're absolutely certain of where you want it. So that's, it's a very handy tip. And then when you're sure, you just pop it down and then just pull the rest out. So that's that one. And now finally the card image. There. Put that there like 
like that. So that's my card and I thought it would be nice just to put a sentiment here. So I found this sentiment which says just for you. So I'm going to um, stamp that up. Now, I'm not terribly good at stamping so we're going to keep our fingers crossed that it, it works. And I thought I'd use um, gold ink just to sort of keep with the spring feel, um, theme. And uh, let's see if I can give it a go. I can get into my ink. Uh. Okay, so I'm just going to try it out on a piece of paper first. See what it looks like. It's okay. It's a bit pale, so perhaps a bit more ink is needed. Fingers crossed. Got a line here. Tip it down. Press it. Get the ink absorbed into the card. And lift it off. So well, it hasn't come out too badly. <laughs> so there we are. So that's my first card in this collaboration. As I said, please go over to all the other collaborators and see what they've done. And uh, I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.